Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I would like to speak to you about one verse from Genesis 2.24. Usually when people read this verse, they translate it to themselves literally. Genesis 2.24 Al ken ya'azav ish et aviv ve'et imo Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother v'davak be'ishto and cleave unto his wife v'hayu Levasar Echad, and they shall be one flesh. Usually, when people read this verse, they take it literally. They look into their parents, father and mother, whom delivered them to this life, and so on. But the sages look at this verse specifically through the Hebrew lens much deeper, and we shall try to look through their lens today. The word is father in Hebrew, Aviv, and the word his mother, Imo, together they have the volume of 72. 72 is the value of the tetragrammaton, the name of God, yod He vav He, with the filling of the letter Yod, meaning Yod Vav Dalid. This is one Yod with a filling and Hey Hey Yod and Vav Vav Yod Vav and another Hey Hey Yod. In this case, the volume of the name of God is 72 in wisdom. So his father and his mother gives us the volume of 72 like the name of the tetragrammaton in the filling of the letter Yod. Now, another interesting word is here, Vedavak. Vedavak, and he will cleave into or stick with. The volume of the word Vedavak, cleave or stick, is 112. When we deduct the volume of of his father and mother, which is 72, from 112, we get the value of 40, meaning 112 minus 72 is 40. 40 is the value of the letter Mem in the Hebrew alphabet, which stands for water. Maim, water, starts with the letter Mem. Mem is also the 13th letter in the Hebrew alphabet. The 13th letter, 13 in Hebrew, is the value of love, Ahava. And also 13th is the value of one in Hebrew, Echad. So now we get an interesting understanding of the verse. Why the advice or why does the verse says, therefore, man will leave his mother and father? Meaning, this is why man will leave the abstract wisdom, his father and mother, and cleave onto his wife. Meaning, we cannot live only in our thoughts, in our ideas. It will be a burnt fire. This is why Nadav and Avihu, the two sons of Aaron, who initiated the tabernacle, the Mishkan, they were burned with a fire because both of them, they were very wise, but they were not married. They were not manifesting their wisdom in time. 
And here the verse says something very interesting. This is why a man shall leave his father and mother, the abstract wisdom, and cleave unto his wife. Live in time and space with the movement of time, with the changes of time. And only by living the abstract wisdom and living in space and time, he can experience the one because the letter mem stands not just for water and time and movement but it's the 13th letter in the hebrew alphabet which stand in a hidden way for the one and for love this is the only way that he can experience love and unity so and this is in a way an answer to a discussion that we had in class on Tuesday, why a person cannot love his parents. We did not have much time to discuss this topic. We were just mentioning the verse, but not what this verse hides. And this is why a person cannot experience love in the abstract only through the lens of time. Only through the lens of time he can experience love and oneness. So this was our little conversation for today. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.